Hey, welcome back. Just got the Swift Lower and Springs put on the car. I'll show you guys some of that when I get the car out of the shop. But today, the main focus of this video is the silicone intake tube that goes on the ear box. All right, so I got the stock air box here. I'm going to go ahead and start switching out to our silicone section for right here for now. Um, let's just see how it goes. So basically, I just want to show you the basically the stock piece. The real reason it makes this, I mean, Honda put it here because it makes it really easy to install. But you got all these ridges, so inside of there it's like an accordion. kind of disrupts the airflow a little bit. With this, I mean, we wanted a little bit of flex. We also wanted it to hold like boost pressure, even though it's the intake side. So we added two ridges, but it doesn't have as much of the accordion in there and essentially will help just smooth out the airflow a little bit as it comes in. So I just need to take off this um, screw here, take off this screw here, and I'll pull the thing right out. All right, so you can see here, we got the stock air box out of the car. I removed that because it's just gonna be a lot easier. Um, this silicone doesn't flex as much as that does. So if you try to leave the stock air box in there, it's just really tight of a space. I mean, Acura really didn't give you much room here. But um, let me find the clamps for this. That's gonna come included with that kit. And I'll get this back on the car. All right, so it's all back together. Got the new um, silicone tube in there with two T-bolt clamps. Yep. Oh boy. All right, that's how she looks all done. Alright guys, so today I pretty much just focused on getting the intake tube on here. Install, it's a fairly simple install. Um, the engine bay is a little bit tight, so um, basically, unfortunately I was by myself today, so I couldn't actually do a step-by-step -step video because um, I had nobody to hold the camera for me. But the best way and easiest way when you're, when you're going to do this is literally just to take out the air box. Probably a good time if, if k &N or maybe green filter at that point has a good nice drop in filter put that in one time take out the air box and um, pretty much install the silicone on it but don't put the clamps on tight slide it back into place and then tighten up your clamps and it'll pretty much be a quick maybe 10 minute install for you um, i hope uh, you know i hope you out some we got quite a bit more parts coming up i'm gonna do a video on the charge pipe install on my next video, maybe not the next one, but here soon, we'll get the CNC port and take manifold on, and I get a video on that for you guys as well. Hope you enjoyed watching, and um, I'm hoping to drop a lot more TLX Type S parts here in the near future. So I'll see you guys again soon, and stick around.